Hello everyone. I'm on the cusp of 500 subscribers and I would love to hit 500 subscribers this week. If you like the videos and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and uh, click the little bell icon so you don't miss anything. Next week we're going to do five old farm all tractors. I'll give you all the history that I know of each one and so we'll feature one a day Monday through Friday next week so make sure you tune in and watch those. Let's go get some manure spread. I've got to move the new pile to where the old pile was to make room for the new new pile. So let's take Harold and go get the rest of that manure out of here. definitely in the air all of a sudden. The temperature dropped, I guess, 20 degrees. The humidity is gone. The leaves have started to fall. It's, uh, it's crazy how that happens. One day it's 105 degrees with 80% humidity. The next day, it's, you better have a sweater. This manure spreader was designed for a farm all cub. But the 140 being a bigger, heavier tractor with four speeds instead of three definitely handles it a lot better. It's also more than double the horsepower of a 48 cup. You can see Hidden Meadow down here. I've already put lime on it. And now we're going to put the compost down. This tree right here is what's called a golden russet. It's a heritage or heirloom variety apple and it's kind of mealy, it's got a banana-like flavor to it. These two trees right here, the apples are mostly green. I don't know if it's a bald one, it's kind of dry like a Cortland. I did a lot of pruning on the trees this year, we've got a, a bumper crop of apples but I did not spray them, so there's not much done in the way of insecticide. Seeing as how we have these, I didn't want to poison them. With this spreader, there's two handles. One on the right with only one notch engages the beaters on the back, and the one on the left will determine how fast the chain or the apron delivers the load back to the beaters. So it's ground drive. So we have these knobby tires on there and the faster you go with the tractor the more efficient it is uh, and that's kind of limited by one the tractor that you have and two the terrain the terrain i have here isn't that great so it makes it a little difficult to do everything so fortunately with this 140 i can still reach the Try it in a second and see how it goes.
ended up taking it slower. The field's just too rough for second, so I have to go in first. I'll probably take the chain drag and go over this after just to kind of spread it. We should get, well, there's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, so that'll help beat it in. Ideally, you take these manure spreaders and you go fast enough so it's hitting this wide spread right here, and then it, it flings it, you know, in, in all directions. That's the intention. Unfortunately, I just can't go fast enough on these fields to make that happen. So essentially, all it's really doing is just conveying it slowly to the back and then just dumping it on the ground which is still better than nothing it's better than no manure spreader but for it to be working the way it's supposed to be doing it's supposed to be hitting this wide spreader right here and then really flinging it in all directions but it's, it's just not doing that the tractor started running rough all of a sudden and I think it must have put some junky fuel in there it must have been some junk in the tank sediment hole just kind of full of stuff all of a sudden and then I noticed in front of my carburetor there's some stupid uh, mud wasps are in there. I have a real problem with mud wasps here. I've never encountered them before but it seems to be a real problem here so when I get done with this I'll have to take the fuel bowl off and clean the fuel lines out and then take a little bit of screen out of the in out of the carburetor and see if that works. This will be the last load. This right here is a McCormick 100 manure spreader. It's a 40 bushel. It was designed for small farmers, and I believe uh, farmers with 15 or less head of cows was what it was advertised for. So we pretty much got most of this out of here, and this will be the last load I'm gonna spread. We'll take it down back and finish up, and then I'll bring everything up, wash it, and figure out what's going on with the carburetor. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already had an opportunity to, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate everyone's input, comments, and thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.